What's different? Anything different with you today than it was last week? No. <laughs> no, it's only been a week. Yeah, no, we're good though. Camp's been going good. I like where the team's at right now. It's been a very productive camp for us. What have you seen from the true freshmen in the scrimmage? Obviously, you know that was the first time you guys got to get out there in pads. But what did you kind of see from what they did here? A lot of talent all across the board. I thought you know Coach Campbell does a phenomenal job recruiting. Um, they're just going to have to learn you know little things, and it's it's on us as older older as the older guys to teach them it. But I was happy with the way they played. Who were you impressed with after the most? Or anybody mm. I don't know. I mean, a lot of the receivers play very well. All of our freshman quarterbacks played well. You know, I just think across the board, you have a lot of talent. Uh, really, they're just going to need a lot of reps, and it'll be fun for them during the year when they're getting those scrimmages, maybe those scout team scrimmages, or if they're helping us during the year. What are your thoughts on Brock? Great kid, very bright, very coachable. I like where he's at right now. What have you tried to do with, especially him and Real, who I know Real got spring ball, but two guys first fall camp, and you know, you've been through this before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've literally talked to them every single play. I had come off the field when I get my reps, and I talk them through what I'm doing. Um, and really, I'm just there for them all the time. I'm, I'm kind of peppering with questions like, what are you supposed to do here, here, and here, and film? I'll throw questions at them. Just, I want those guys on top of their game, and I want to be you know, that person that they can come to at all times for that. How is it different? Um, this is obviously your first fall camp where you're getting full reps with the ones as opposed to you know, all those other years mm -hmm. where you, I'm sure you were scrapping to get you know, a few shots in there. How is it different now? Yeah, a lot different. Um, helps my confidence. Uh, really, what I've been building on in the summer and then coming in and out. It's just, it's been a big hope for me. I think getting better every day. Did you ever have kind of a crisis in confidence when you weren't playing? Like you go to JUCO and you don't play? Was it ever just? I'm, I might just. Yeah, hang like up? that. That that's always been the case. That's that's what you deal with when you are in those situations. So, for me, it was just you know in the off season working on my own and working with you know the other guys that weren't playing. So yeah, there is a crisis in confidence, but that's that's part of the whole deal of overcoming that. How much does that help? Because guys have said, even last year before you were playing, you were rounding up guys, getting the work in and all that, and they respected you for that, even you know wherever you were on the depth chart. Was that just part of, as you've always said, being prepared for that opportunity? Yeah, that's just part of who I am, and that, that's really my obligation to the team to be prepared for that moment. What's Zeb like now compared to maybe what you saw from him in spring or even last year? Say it again. What's Zeb like right now? Oh. I mean, how far has he made progress? I mean, he's made a bunch of progress basically from what, the, you know, it was good for him to get those reps last year. He got a full game in. You know, he stepped in for me in the Oklahoma State game, but he's continued to progress. You know, I've been really proud of what he's doing. He's learning every single day. He's not complacent, and, you know, it's a really competitive room with me and him as well. Has accuracy always been one of your strengths? Because last year, I know pro football focus put up a thing. You were one of the top guys, even though coming off a layoff. Has that always just been one of your things? Yeah, things? that's one of the most important things I focus on. I think that's that's one of the most important traits for a quarterback, though. How do you hone that when you're not playing or even repping that much in practice? Being an absolute perfectionist, you know, I'll get irritated myself when I'm not hitting guys right, you know, where I need to in the hands. Uh, you know, even on, like, the back shoulder, the front shoulder, like, it's all very t minor details, but I'm, I'm very hard on myself, and I think that's where that comes were from. Were you like that then, even when you were working with guys before you were playing? Like, I've been like that. Game and I've been like that my whole life, so. Gotcha. Is that, this might sound weird, but is the fact that you've, you've had to fight so long to put yourself in a position where you are now, is focusing so much on just com simply completing the passes one of those things, like, Hey, I don't have. Um, I wasn't a five-star guy. And we say I have this huge arm. I got to make sure I hit as many people as possible. Yeah, that's just. I think once you play quarterback, like there are some things that are more important than the rest. I think accuracy is one of those traits that really lies above. Every, I mean, you see the people in the league, like yeah. guys with great arms and all that. They only last so long. It's really accuracy that's going to carry accuracy in the decision making and the two they're going to carry you through the long run. So yeah, that you know, it's a big thing for me to, to harp in, on. In what ways has the added weight strength? How have you noticed the change? Confidence for one, ball velocity, and you know how far I'm able to throw. It, really, the confidence is a big thing, and you know being able to make all the throws with ease and being able to get it on time. Like I, I know earlier in college, like some of the throws on the field were hard for me to make, like those deep out routes, the deep throws, like all, all those kinds of throws. But now, you know, I just feel so much more confident. I get back there, and I'm going to make this throw on time with what the defense is giving me. So I just feel like that, you know, I don't feel like I'm hindered at all in any way. Have you always been kind of a guy who relishes being in the weight room a little bit, or was this transformation kind of like a higher commitment to that? I've relished it. I've really enjoyed being in the weight room. I've always been a high work ethic guy, but for me, it was more so 
what I was doing with eating with the food portion. I think combining it all together, learning from like, hey, what did I do before? What was not working? And then it was probably more of that experience of, you know, hey, this is working. And, you know, also being the, the starter kind of helped to give that added motivation. How much but, have you put on since, uh, I guess, the end of last season? 15. So 210 to 225. So have I. <laughs> what, what's the moment like you when you make a throw so that you couldn't make before? I wouldn't say like I wasn't able to make, but like making those throws and like it, it's a really good feeling. It, it you know especially it's kind of one of those things I started noticing this summer. Like, geez, I'm able to make this this and this throw so much easier. And now it's like I get up to the line of scrimmage and I, I can make any throw on, on time. So it, it definitely is a big confidence thing. And I think for quarterbacks, you need that confidence when you're back there in the pocket. Was there a specific day or instance where it showed up? Or do you remember the, the ball you threw or who you were thrown to or anything like that? Maybe not a specific day, but just the, the summer workload, basically like coming out every single day. And then like the coaches start saying, and then your teammates come back to you and say, that. it's just that little feedback. And then you kind of start feeling like, hey, I'm, I'm doing this and this better. So. You, you mentioned the nutrition aspect, and you looked at what didn't work and what did work. Can you give an example of what didn't? Maybe what was routine before, and then you changed up? Yeah, so probably a good example is when I get, um, well, for one, like I, was, I would always go through stretches in the winter when I'd get sick, and I'd lose like five or six pounds. So I was very healthy during the winter and the spring and summer. Um, you know, didn't have any instances where I was losing weight. Being consistent is a big thing. It's always easy to come off the off season. It's like I'm going to gain weight. Well, the hardest thing is going through four weeks and then you get into that grind and it's like, okay, I'm going to start skipping meals and things are getting hard. So that was a big thing for me, pushing through that and continuing to make those gains after I would make maybe a small small gain at the beginning, but just continuing that over the course of time. Did they preach like a food is medicine kind of thing to avoid that type of illness you're, if you're loading up on greens, you know, eating the, eating the good stuff? I wouldn't say that. It's more so just maybe my experience just being in college. You've done some writing recently, I saw, um, where you did some writing about the about your faith. Oh, yeah, there's a story about that. Yeah, what was it like um, putting pen to paper and that sort of thing? Well, I didn't write that. Okay, (laughs) okay, somebody wrote it about you. Yeah, that was, it was cool just to talk about something like that. You know, sometimes as athletes, we don't get, we have this great platform, but we don't, you know, maybe get the opportunity sometimes to talk about that. So it was really cool for me to be able to do that. Just something different, I think, a nice change up. What are you studying now? It seems like you ought to be working on a PhD. You've been in college so long. Yeah, so I have one degree right now, just a general studies degree. I finished my computer science degree in the fall. I have one class to take, and that's a kind of been a long road, but that's what happens when you go from quarters to semesters. It kind of <laughs> is something like that. What are you taking now? Just something that piques your interest or just to pass the time? Just the one computer science class and then three other classes to fill my credits out. Okay.